So I think uh, UFP, because of its diversity, is um, personally, it's the first time I'm engaging with people from so many different backgrounds at the same time. And uh, it's, it's a good experience in trying to understand where you situate yourself and where someone else situates themselves um, in, in, in a place. And professionally, also, you try and understand that uh, there's no one perspective to a thing. The same thing is talked about in a very different manner when it comes from a journalist or from an economist. So it's it's been a very eye-opening experience in understanding what are the different roles and methods in which people talk about urban and situate themselves in it. Uh, yeah, very. I think I have learned a lot more by being with the people in the cohort uh, because we constantly have conversations in BCC at the campus while going back because we live together. So those conversations are a lot more enriching to me than just being in a classroom in a session with just having the faculty talk to us. So of course it helps a lot. It also sort of like that diversity um, made sense when we were also doing a practica because we had so many different people from different backgrounds. So, you, so it's also a very enriching experience in understanding how to look at something in a very comprehensive manner, how to talk about something, how to understand something from very different lenses and fields. So it, yeah, it, I think it helps a lot more having conversations with people in the cohort. Yeah, so I come from an architecture background. So the idea of uh, urban has always been a very urban design sort of a perspective. So over here in Commons, when we were doing governance, when we were learning about identity and social practice, it brings a very, um, it brings a very social, a very uh, legal, a very economical uh, aspect to a very. Uh, to an outlook which was just very spatial to me. So it has been a very, um, uh, it has been a good experience in understanding how different practices sort of take place in the urban because there was other different mediums through which we were talked about through. It's like a conversation taking place. It's never just them teaching and us learning. It's always a one-on-one -on -one discussion about what's and why's and how's of things that take place. And because it's not just a very faculty and student relationship, it goes beyond the extents of the classroom. There's also a lot more conversation that spills out, which is not just one subject, but how do you connect it to your personal background that you're coming from? Not just professionally, but there are these anecdotes that play out from your personal life or from stories that you hear. So it's it it moves beyond just the relationship of a faculty is what i would say which is not something in a lot of academic um places offer so commons was quite interesting because uh first the, the idea of it being just one thing for two weeks is not something which is very usual. So just studying identity and social practice for two weeks and engaging with it from different places. One day we're bringing our stories, one day we're getting stories from someone else, one day we're just trying to understand such a social thing in a very um, uh, qual qual qualitative form and quantitative form and understand how that replicates onto budget. So uh, just two weeks of each and every um, subject is quite interesting because by the end of it our last class actually brought ev all of them together so um, even though it's separate we also had integrative case working out at the same time which was constantly trying um, in a way that we get two or three different modules together so yeah that was quite new and different for me. Master classes are kind of like uh, 
they were told to us as these cool ass people coming in and talking to us and we've had a lot of different kinds of people who come um and they just talk about their practice or uh, the different ways that they have evolved their practice which is which is nice to see because when we are in a in a session in a classroom it is also important for us to see how do we step out and what are the different ways that we can step out so having these uh, people coming in to talk to us so not from a specific background or a specific um kind of a pre- practice it's just in general people uh, working in very different fields coming and talking to us so this was the first time i came uh, like I, i was introduced to the concept of office as because uh, um yeah i come from a very different kind of ar- architectural college background so it was kind of new to f- even navigate that okay how do you one on one just talk to the faculty because it's also the kind of relationships that we have developed with them like i said it's not just a faculty and a student relationship which is what office as sort of did for me where um you can go and talk about anything and everything and it helped a lot in also understanding what are the next steps i would like to take and where i come from also like it could be a personal therapy session but at the same time it could be something very uh, career based also so yeah that is also like one of the reasons i think i can say that uh, i am li- like i know the faculty and the faculty knows me also so exposure visit is a great great idea because <laughs> uh, we were also told that we are the first batch after covid who did that so it's the way that it was curated it places you in the city and because we've been talking about the urban you understand how to look at urban beyond the city that you're living in so it is a good way to figure out how you want to navigate a city how you f- how even you find the means of understanding how the city functions and also because it is curated in a manner that you look at all aspects of the city we looked at infrastructure we looked at waste processing we m- met with the man- like we met with government agencies we met with extern ex ufp fellows which was also a good experience of learning so yeah it places you in the process of understanding a city better we've had a lot of fun being at bcc because there's always some of the other faculty around or some of the other people who's coming in and going out so it's like i said it's not just the classroom our conversations keep spilling over everywhere the terrace the outside balcony the library so it's quite fun because you never know what's going on in the ground floor and you stumble upon something and you just go and sit there even if you're a part of it or you're not a part of it and then like it always helps that when you have different city scripts and urban lens or something going on because it feels like it's more than a classroom you feel like you're a part of a program which has multiple multiple different directions you can just step into and step out of also i think it sort of lightens the um the heavy atmosphere when you're constantly talking about the urban and the issues in the urban you need that sort of a breather in between so i did enter ufp as a very confused person and um i wasn't sure of what sector i wanted to take but being here i think i have realized that i do want to practice as a designer and um that confusion about which direction to go to is not something i'm dealing with anymore so i do know there are two three different directions but at least getting those two three different directions of practice in the urban design or housing or um understanding research as an architect is something that i have um i f- i feel like i have found myself in so yeah i i think it be a practice based design uh, or like a practice based work